welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Now, as you can probably tell by my ever-so-stylish headgear here, we're going to be doing a different kind of cooking today. Let me get back here and here. Uh, today we are in our newly Sortexified Horizons world. Today we are going to be playing with witchery a little bit. These are not things that you want to serve to your guests, if you like your guests, I don't think. This stuff probably wouldn't taste very good. Anyway, Witchery is a pretty complicated mod on the surface, but fortunately you have all these little uh, instruction manuals that you can craft to show you how to do it. And I've got one here that we're not going to be messing with today because that is a little bit beyond the scope of cooking show stuff. But the first one you will want to make is the easiest. It's going to be the Herbology Guide. And for that you need one red rose, one yellow flower, an ink sack, a book, and a feather. And this book here is going to tell you all about all the fancy plants and things that you'll see, let me flip back to the beginning here, in the Witchery Mod. Some of these things you can get by punching tall grass and getting seeds. Some of these things you have to mutate, and we will get into that in a bit. And yeah, there's a uh, pretty interesting assortment of plants here, most of which we have planted downstairs. Once you get your herbology book, let's put that away for now. The next one you'll want to make is bruising, or collecting fumes, which you are going to use this handy witch's oven for. To make this book, oops, where are you? There we go. You'll need to get a belladonna flower, which once again comes from punching tall grass and getting seeds. Uh, other than that, it's coal, or charcoal, excuse me, ink sack, feather, and a book. This book will tell you how to use your fancy witch's oven. You put uh, clay jars, I'll show you that in just a minute, in there. You put some fuel in, and you cook some saplings, and that will give you various essences. And I will just show you right now. Here's a clay jar. You make a clay jar with uh, four clay lumps, and then you fire it, just like you do the agriculture cookware. So let's see. Um, I'm going to need to make the Bruise and Bruise and Infusions book. I'm going to need to make an Odor of Purity. That's going to take a hawthorn sapling, so we're going to leave that alone for now. But if I were to want to make the Circle Magic book, I'd need a Whiff of Magic. That takes a Okay, that takes something else I need to mutate. Something else I will get to shortly. Let's see. Ah, distilling. There we go. That's one I can make easily. Breath of the Goddess. For that, we need to cook a birch sapling. So, I don't have any on my person, but that's okay. I have one right here. Let's throw that in there. And that will cook. And you will also get some wood ash as a byproduct. I'm going to need some more saplings. Uh, birch saplings, there we go. And while that's cooking, wood ash can be used to make quick lime. It can be used to make ritual chalk, which we'll get into a circle magic. It's also a component in mutandus. That is, um, remember how the book said you have to mutate some plants? Well, that's how you do it. And you are going to need a lot of mutandus, and I will show you why shortly. Let me get some wood ash going here. Oh, there we go. There's a Breath of the Goddess. And then you will use that, along with another hunk of belladonna, ink sack, and a book, and a feather, to make the distilling cookbook. Now that one, I'm sure the near, yeah, near to an altar to get power. That is something that we will get into at another time. There are some altars over here. I don't know if they actually have any juice in them. Let's see, a foul fume and quick lime. I don't want to mess with that. Breath of the Goddess and some lapis. Okay, I can uh, just order some lapis real quick. Just kind of get the emergency sky drop service going here. Breath of the Goddess. No, not the wood ash. The lapis. And I need a jar. <coughs> Throw those in there, and does not look like it's getting power. That's alright. If we had a powered altar here, 
it would be getting power and it would make stuff here. Let's see, Tear the Goddess, Whip a Magic Slime Ball, and Foul Fume. Okay. I'll go ahead and put that away for now. Now, in order to make some of these strange plants, rowan saplings and things, you're going to need hawthorn saplings, you're going to need... Oops, I forgot my stuff. You're going to need, like I said, mutandus, and you're going to need a lot of it. Let me get my pile here. I'll show you real quick how to make it. Oops. It's four wood ash, a mandrake root, which you get by punching tall grass, bone meal, cactus green, one egg, one hint of rebirth, which is what you get in the witch's oven from smelting a, cooking down a spruce sapling, or a bunch of spruce saplings. Let's just go ahead and head on downstairs. Yes, I have a boatload of oak saplings in my hand. You're going to need lots of those, too. So let's just go over here somewhere. Do I have anything ripe over here? I do. Oops. I've got some ripe cows. There we go. There we go. Okay. Anybody else need picking? Okay. Oops, I should not have gone that way. Let's go over here to my tree planting spot. Oops, oops. Hup, hup. He, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Now you'll need to just stick any old sapling in the ground and throw mutandus at it. And it will turn it into some random... Oh, good and all sapling. I'll need that. It'll turn it into some random bit of vegetation. This can be helpful, just in and of itself, if you... Oh, I'll need that. Whoops. Oh, well. If uh, you have trouble finding, say, a jungle in your world, you can make mutandus and throw it at saplings until you get a jungle sapling, which you will eventually. However, as you notice, the sort of plant that you get is totally random. So, if you need one particular tree, if you need a rowan, rowan sapling, I guarantee you, that's going to be the one thing you don't get. Oh, there's a hawthorn sapling. Good. Rowan. Alder. Okay, that should do it for now. I pick that up. That is basically how you mutate your plants. Let me pick that up. And plant me another cow here. Uh, cow seeds. There's my cow seeds. There we go. I get cow essence, Christmas essence, lots of cow essence. Good. Make some steak out of that. Oops, I'm too high. There we go. And you can, you'll need to plant at least one rowan sampling because you will need rowan wood to make altars. But you also will need to cook these saplings to get, I'm going to just cook the alder saplings down. We'll see what we get here. Probably lots of wood ash. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, come on now. And one more. Not enough. Okay, that's all right. I will feed it some more another time. Anyway, that is the basic how to get started in Witchery 101. And your cookbooks will tell you all kinds of helpful things you need to know. So until next time, oh, this is delicious wood ash, yum yum. <laughs> Next time, we will cook some things that are fit for human consumption. So until then, bon appetit. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.